so this is a guide on how to correctly install lazy motion library so please follow these steps exactly as i do and then you won't have any issues the very first step is you download the file the zip file and you right click on it and extract the file that is very important then after extracting the file you open blender you go to edit preferences and then file paths you're going to click on plus and then locate your file so i have it on the desktop and this one is my file i'm going to select the file double click on it and you can see i've got two folders named thumbnails and assets so what you have to make sure is if your folder has folders inside it so if you open the folder lazy motion library and then there's another folder inside that named lazy motion library you gotta pay attention in this scenario so if you have folders in folders like that you have to keep clicking on that lazy motion library name like this until you land in this directory with the thumbnails and assets because this directory means we have some hidden files in here for the blender assets scats.txt and all that uh, which will organize your assets into categories which is very important and once i click on add asset library make sure nothing is selected and make sure it disappears after clicking it one time if it doesn't you're going to click this button add and it disappeared save the preferences and now if i refresh this go to lazy motion library then go back to all now you can see that the lazy motion library has been added right below the hair uh, presets now if i expand it you can see all the categories and everything is embedded in here correctly and i can click on each one and see if that is working yes it is working so for some reason if you see less assets or something like that you can go to all here and click on lazy motion library and then you'll get all the assets here just know that every single asset here has a mini tutorial embedded right here at the end of the modifiers tabs right there you can click on the watch mini tutorial and copy this link with ctrl c and paste it in your browser to watch tutorial of that specific uh, asset and i get a lot of questions about the array assets so they drop it on the object and then they say it's not animated why would it be animated because the animate uh, slider because the animate slider is not animated yet you have to keyframe it so that is it if you have any questions or any issues in the installation process you can reach out to me on discord